Here we are in section 3-1 with the solutions to numbers 11 through 18. It says graph the following lines, label three points. We've got to make sure we have three points, but your points, the ones that you pick, might not be the same as mine because there are billions and billions of points out there. So let's go ahead and do number 11. Uh, let's do, uh, we are going to pick random numbers and stick them in and get their partners. So let's do this. Stick X. Uh, I think uh, let's try X is 3. That will give us the point 3 times 3 plus Y equals 10. That's uh, 9 plus Y equals 10. Subtract 9 and we get Y equals 1. So 3, 1 is the first point we have. Uh, let's try another one. X is 0. That's it. That's, you know, that's kind of nice. Sticking zero in here because we get three times zero is zero plus y equals 10. So if we stick that guy in, we now have y equals 10. So zero, 10 is a point. Great. And the third point, let me see. Um, I don't know. We could do x as, I don't know, five or something. If x is five, we get, uh, let's stick in five for x and we get 3 times 5 plus y equals 10. Subtract, let me see, that's a 15 plus y equals 10. And subtract 15 from both sides, and we get y equals a negative 5. Good. So 5, negative 5 is what we get. Let's label these. So we go 5, negative 5 is about down here. And then the blue one, 3 one, probably about right there, and the red point we had was zero, ten. Looks like it'll be up about right there. And yeah, there we have it. We have our line. Let's see if we can draw, draw it right down there. Oh, hey, that was a pretty straight line. That was not bad at all. There we go. So that's what the line looks like, and those three points, that's how you would label them, right like that. Good. Let's try the next one. <clears throat> Number 12, y equals 2x. Let's do a little x, y here. And let's pick a point. We love zero, zero is nice. If we stick zero in there, we get y equals two times zero, uh, which is equals zero. So y is zero. Yeah, the point zero, zero is a solution and works in there. Let's go ahead and pick another point, uh, three. If we stick in three for x, we get y equals 2 times 3. That equals a 6. I like that. And if we picked a point, I don't know, let's pick a point for um, uh, y this time. Pick a negative 4. See what happens here. Put negative 4 in for y and we get negative 4 equals a 2x. Divide by negative 2 to find out what x equals. x equals a negative 2. So we get negative 2, negative 4. So if we graph those three, we get negative two, negative four is probably about right down there. Uh, three, six, let's graph that with the trite color. One, two, three, up about six is probably about there. And then the other one was zero, zero. Yeah, so he, that's what our graph is gonna look like. Let's draw the final line in the black here. And not bad. Drawing a straight line, pretty tough if you don't have a ruler. Uh, we did okay on that one. All right, let's do the, uh, the next one here with um, x minus number 13, x minus 4y equals 7. So xy, uh, if we stick, um, I don't know, I always like doing a 0 in for something. So let's stick 0 in there. And we now have 0 minus 4y equals 7. Uh, divide by negative 4, and we get y equals a 7 divided by negative 4. That's a negative 7 fourths. That's the partner. It's a fraction. It's okay if we have fractions. It doesn't hurt anything, really. We just have to realize that's almost negative 2, like negative 1.75. All right, so now let's do uh, stick in. Oh, why don't we try 0 for y? See if that comes out any nicer. We get x minus 4 times y is 0. Oh, I guess we don't need to write that. x minus 0 equals 7. Hey, that was a nice one. That's good. And then the last one on this problem, the third point, 
uh, it's, I don't know, take uh, two for y or something like that. Um, if we stick a two in for y, we get x minus four times two equals seven. This is x minus eight equals seven. Add eight to both sides and we get x equals a 15. So sometimes you might end up with fractions where you're just picking and sticking. We might have fractions. 15, two, so that's gonna be about like that. Huh, uh, graph the, the point we did in green, seven, zero. Seven, zero, probably about right there. And uh, the blue one, what do we do for the blue one? Zero, negative seven, four, so not quite two. Now, these three points better be in a straight line. The, every single point that will work in here gives us a straight line. And so let's, well, okay, mostly a straight line, depending on who's drawing it. Yeah, I, I curved up around that green right there just a little bit. There we go. Good, that's 11, 12, and 13. Now we'll, uh, let's get this erased. Excellent, number 14, same thing, x, y. Let's go ahead and pick three numbers to put in there. Uh, a zero there is a great place to start. Let me see, that's two times zero uh, plus y equals three. Two times zero is zero, so we just get a three for y, good. The next one, um, we have, uh, I don't know, we could pick in x's three here, and let's see what happens. If we have two times three plus y equals zero, no, equals, not zero, equals a three, that's six plus y minus six from both sides, and we get y equals a negative three. Three negative three works. Wow, a lot of threes going on. Let's go ahead and stick in zero for y and see what comes out there. We get 2x plus 0 equals 3, divide by 2, and we get x equals 3 halves. Is it bad to get a fraction? Heck no. This is good. So x is 3 halves. So if we graph these three points, we have x is 3 halves. There's about 1 and a half, probably about right there. Um, let's do the maroon one. 3, negative 3. Looks like about right there. <clears throat> And then the blue one, zero, three. Zero up three, looks like about right there. And yeah, those guys are in a straight line, like it. Oh, nice, that one worked okay. All right, let's do the, the next one now. Number 15, uh, let's do our little x, y plot over here. And get some numbers. Stick in zero. Zero has become a favorite. It's nice and easy to stick in. We stick in zero there, and it gives us y equals negative three-sevenths times zero, which is zero plus four. That gives us just y equals four. So zero, four is the first point there. Uh, the next one, let's stick in, I don't know. Ooh, we have a fraction we need to worry about. Let's see if we can stick in something that's nice right here. Um, maybe a seven. That'll, that'll times negative three-sevenths and leave us a good number. So y equals negative three-sevenths times seven plus four. Y equals, this is seven over one. If you times that in your calculator, those guys cancel. We just get negative three plus four. Gives us y equals one. So seven, one. That's good. All right, so now let's, uh, we've got to pick one more point Doggone. Uh, let's stick in zero for y and see what comes out. So we get zero equals negative three-sevenths x plus four. Subtract four from both sides. Negative four equals negative three-sevenths x. Oh, now divide by negative three-sevenths. So that's times by negative seven-thirds times by negative seven thirds, and that guy goes away, and we get x equals positive 28 thirds. Wow, that's kind of a crazy fraction there. That's, let me see, in a calculator, 28 divided by three is 9.33333. Um, okay, so that's about where we'll graph it. All right, so this is about 9.33333333, zero right there. Weird fraction, but it was easy to stick in zero at least. Uh, then the pink one was seven 
one, so about right there. And then the last one, or the first one, I guess we did, zero, four, turns out to be about right there. Yeah, and look at that, all three of them lining up in a straight line, and that's our line right there. Oh, that one came out much more normal. Let's try that guy one more time. A uh, little better, a little better. All right, so there's our line right there, and those are the three points. Number 16, let's try this one. Uh, X, Y plot here. Some, uh, let's try zero for X. That has worked well for us in the past, and we get six times zero is zero, minus five Y equals 12, divide by a negative five, and we get Y equals negative 12 fifths. So that's about, if we stick that in the calculator, that's about negative 2.4, I think. All right, uh, then let's stick zero in for y, see if that comes out any nicer. 6x, so this would make 6x minus five times zero is zero equals 12. Divide by six, divide by six, and we get x equals two. Oh, that one did turn out nicer. Now we gotta pick a random, number to stick in because it, even though we only need two points for the line, the instructions say we need to label three points. So we got to try one more. Um, I don't know if we did, let me see. Let's stick uh, seven. Yeah, let's try it. Seven in for X. Stick seven up here and we get 42 minus five Y equals 12. Subtract 42, and we get negative 5y equals a negative 30. Divide by a negative 5, and we get y equals a positive 6. All right. So we get 7, 6 is about right there. Uh, 2, 0 is 2, 0, about right there. And then uh, 0, negative 12 fifths which was zero, negative 2.4. Looks like it's about right down there. Oh, good, they are in a straight line. Whew, I was worried with those weird fractions and numbers, we might've gotten a little bit off, but. Okay, so, that's uh, a little curvy, but there you go, there's that straight line. Let's get these erased and then we'll move on to the next one. Number 17, uh, let's do our little X, Y here. Good. Uh, zero is a great beginning one. Let's stick zero in there and we get y equals one half times zero, zero minus four. Y is negative four. Good. Um, let's try sticking x as, oh, this is going to give us a fraction. Let's see if we can do something good like, uh, like six. There we go. Y equals one half times six minus four. One half times six is three. Three minus four is negative one, six negative one there, okay. And uh, let me see, for the third point, we could stick zero in for y, or we could do another easy one for x. Um, well, let's do another easy one, let's do two. Two looks pretty nice indeed. One half times two will make it easy. Y equals one half times two minus four. That's one minus four, one half times two, those two cancel. One minus four is a negative three. Y equals negative three. Okay, so we get two, negative three, looks about like right there. Um, six, negative one, so that's over here like that. And zero, negative four is like right down here, zero, negative four. There we go. And again, they're in a straight line. Those are the three points. And your answer is you could have, you could have gotten any three points that were on that line and it should look something like that. It could have been, you could have stuck in four for X or negative three for X or negative five for Y or something like that. Could have happened, no worries there. Okay, the next one, number 18. A little X, Y plot over here and we stick in zero for X, that's worked well most of the time. Sometimes we get fractions. Five times zero is zero, plus two Y equals six, 
uh, 0 plus something doesn't do anything. Divide by 2 and we get y equals 3. 0, 3 is a point. Next one, uh, let's try sticking in, um, I don't know, let's stick in 0 for y. Let's see what happens there. 2 times 0, so we get uh, 5x plus 2 times 0 is 0. So just zero there, not really necessary, equals six, divide by five and we get x equals six fifths. Uh, six fifths, that's stick it in a calculator and you get about 1.2. All right, and the last one um, on here, the last point we need to get, I don't know, stick in x as two. All right, let's try that one. Sticking to two there, five times two is 10 plus two y equals six. Subtract 10, we get two y equals negative four. And divide by two, we get y is a negative two. So two negative two is right there, good. Um, then, uh, oh, six fifths zero, so that's one point two zero so somewhere right in there somewhere and uh on the blue zero three looks like about right up there now if you want to put tick marks on yours or use graph paper to make it look a lot neater than what you're seeing here that's perfectly fine you go for it and that may help some of you all right and there we have it number 18 excellent